All right, so like I was saying before, that uh, the assignment you did today, sorry, yesterday, the, the person working with me will review it to see what you've done so far. I want to commend everybody, at least for, for getting to this level. <laughs> it's not easy. I want to believe that, uh, I want to believe that everyone must have learned one or two things that are very, very vital. So tonight's class will be focusing on traffic and traffic sources traffic sources for bloggers that is the topic for tonight traffic sources for bloggers so i want everyone here to know that uh, blogging is about traffic or oh, let me rephrase that making money from blogging is about traffic so if you don't have traffic you will not have money no matter how beautiful your content is no matter how elegant your blog will appear to be if you don't have traffic, you can't make money. It's simple mathematics. Why is this so? Because in our new economy, attention is the new money. Attention is the new money. Once you have attention, once you can gather the attention of thousands of people, you will make money. That is what Facebook is selling. Facebook is selling attention. If you look at Facebook now, it is free to use. If you look at Twitter, it's free to use. Look at Instagram. Those things are very free to use, but they are not actually free. They make money. For instance, last year, Facebook made $75 billion. All right? That is trillions of Naira. Yet, it is a free application. So what are they selling to make money? Attention, your own attention, my own attention. So once anybody can capture attention, you can also make money. It's as simple as that. And that is why in blogging we say that attention means money. Traffic, which is equals to attention, means money. All right, so once you can get traffic, you can get money from your blog. So let's use Google as, as another example, a very awesome example. When you start blogging, you will likely have Google AdSense. Google AdSense on your, on your website, all right? So Google AdSense will be paying you monthly. Of course, depending on the level of traffic you have, you'll be making money, all right, from Google AdSense. So where do they make money from? It's very simple. Let's say Kenechuku or Timothy wants to advertise. Let's say they both sell um, shoes in Aba or in Abuja, for instance, and they want to advertise their shoes to people living in Abuja. So they will take pictures of those shoes and go to Google and say, Google, please advertise this my shoes to people living in Abuja. Take this 100K, take this 10K, take this 50K, and advertise this thing to people who are living in Abuja. Now, Google will collect your 50,000 and collect pictures of your shoes. Now, Google does not have a website in Nigeria, but Google has uh, partners. So once you, once you get on the AdSense program, you become a partner with Google. You're a publisher partner. So because I am a blogger and I blog right from Nigeria and most of my audience come from Nigeria, Google will take the advert of Kenichuku and place on my website. That is on my blog. So people will now visit my blog and see Kenechuku's advert, all right? Click on Kenechuku's advert and buy his shoes. So when they buy his shoes, Kenechuku must have made money for advertising. He will make sales, all right? And from the sales, he will make money. Google will make money for connecting um, myself because Kenichuku didn't know me ordinarily. Kenichuku doesn't know me ordinarily in the setting now. Kenichuku doesn't know me. So Google will collect money for linking Kenichuku and I. All right? Connecting business. Google has attention. A pool of advertisers. Google has a pool of advertisers and a pool of publishers. So Google takes adverts from publishers 
sorry, from advertisers and places on the blogs of publishers. So when the general public, which is what we refer to as um, traffic, when they come, they will visit my blog, see what is on there, see what is happening there, then of course, patronize my blog. All right? So at the end of the day, it becomes a win-win situation. Google makes money, I, the blogger, make money, then, then of course, the person who is advertising also makes money. Does that make sense? If it does make sense, please just wave your hands if it makes sense. Does it make sense? Does it make sense? All right, so what is the sharing formula? The sharing formula in Google AdSense is 68% to 32%. Uh, all right, so Google takes 32%. You, as the publisher, you take 68%. All right? But don't even think about it. Don't think you are, you are earning higher than them. You are not. Because if someone is taking 32% from millions of people around the world, it's a lot of money. A whole lot of money. So the 5000 or 10000 or $15,000 you are collecting from them monthly is, is insignificant. It's nothing to write home about as, as compared to the kind of money they are making. All right. So before I get started on the on the major topic of tonight, I had wanted to clear the Google Adsense stuff. And again, to explain to you how you can, um, how you can get that. Um, I talked about Ahrefs in our, in our last class, I talked about Ahrefs and MOZ. These are keyword research tools. And in blogging, if you don't know how to do keyword research, well, you blog from now until next year, you will not, you will not be a millionaire. You just make it for some money. But you cannot make millions of naira from Google. But if you know how to do keyword research, using the spy strategy I've taught you guys, you are going to hit the ground running and you make a lot of money. A whole lot of money and if your money is coming in dollars it, it makes sense because of course nine thousand dollars is already above three million naira. nine thousand dollars to do on google is not a big deal it's not a big deal so i'm hoping that even as uh, we conclude the class in a few days to come that you can get started almost immediately and like i said before i've gotten somebody who will design your blogs for you and put all the plugins, and I will supervise the work personally to ensure that all the plugins and optimizations that you're supposed to do are done inside the town so that you can hit the ground running. All right, so I want to make sure that if you follow my lead, that, is, that there won't be anybody in this class tonight that will make at least one million naira before the end of this year from Google. It is not rocket science, it is feasible. All right, so how do you get uh, mouse and Ahrefs? Those are very important keyword research tools. SEO generally, because apart from keyword research, you can also use it to track your rankings. You can also use it to spy on your computers, to, get their, to see where they're getting their backlinks from, so you can get your own backlinks and increase your DA. You can also see where your website is going up or when your rankings are falling down. You can use Ahrefs to do a lot of things a whole lot of things, magic, magic in the world of blogging. But the problem is that Ahrefs is very expensive. For instance, their regular plan is around $179. Okay, before you now go to Moz. So if, if at the end of the day, Moz and um, Ahrefs cost you $250 and you have to use um, Current exchange rate, it will be above 110,000. 110,750. That is not funny for a beginner. You cannot do that. So, even those who are already in the industry and are making money from the industry, they try as much as they can to avoid expenses. All right. And that reminds me when they are designing your blog, I've also decided to prevail on the guy that is going to design it to make sure he gives you free hosting. There's something called hosting. 
there's something called um, hosting. Hosting is like your house on the internet. Your domain is like your address, your house address. All right? So hosting is paid for monthly and yearly. Do you get the point? So I am prevailing on the guy to give you one year free hosting. So if he's going to design your website, he must also give you one year free hosting. So that in the next one year, you don't have to worry about hosting. Okay? Personally, I, I pay um, $85 every month for hosting. Every single month. Every month, I pay $85 for hosting. So you can avoid such expenditure by, you know, uh, leveraging on the deal I have with this guy to design your sites and you get free hosting and everything will go in order. Then the HREF stuff and the MOS. There is a website I will show you now. I'll type it also in the chat box. Hazard SEO. Hazard as in from Hazard. Hazardseo.com. Hazardseo.com. This Hazard SEO is a big SEO company in India. All right. So what they do is that they run SEO campaigns for people and for companies. So they have all these uh, SEO tools like Ahrefs, Moz, and all of that. Including Canva, including uh, um, Convert Kit, a lot of tools, like over 10 tools that are awesome. All right. So, what happens is that if you have some, uh, if you know about them, you can actually, you can actually partner with them and they will give you access to their, to their keyword research tools. So instead of paying $250 to the company that owns all these things, why not pay something like, excuse me, please. So instead of paying um, $250 monthly to Ahrefs and Moz, you can partner with Azad SU and they will give you access to all these things for only $10 per month. Is that awesome? Is that heavy? Is that cool enough? Now, that is not the real cool. The real cool is that all of you can come together and decide to contribute 100 Naira, and you can pay the $10 and get access to it. Everybody will have the login. You can always, always log in and use it. Does that make better sense? So instead of paying 110,000, you can actually pay like 200 Naira or 100 Naira or 150 and gain access. Does that make sense? All right, so let's go straight. You can, you can copy that in down. Azad. <laughs> hey, Azad SU. So you can copy it down, just write it somewhere. All right. Write it somewhere. Azadseo.com. All right. So you can sign up with them. And later, later after this class, you people can put yourself in groups. One person, you don't need to go and pay a loan. All right. You can mitigate the costs, bring down the costs just among yourselves, and, and you can get it. Okay. And like I said before, two of my content writers, people who are writing content for me, are in this class. So the same thing I used to tell them to do on my blog is what I'm teaching you. So when we started this class, I told you it's going to be more practical than theories, and that's what we've been doing. So if you follow through, before the end of this class, you're going to be fine. And if there's anything you miss out, let's say network is not okay, you can always watch and watch the videos because I'm recording everything. I'm recording everything for the sake of those who, who may miss class or who may miss one thing or the other because of them, um, you know, uh, network. So you don't have to worry about that. So let's dive into our major topic for tonight. Traffic sources for bloggers. Traffic sources for bloggers, if you have not written it. Traffic sources for bloggers. And of course, for those who are not um, into blogging before now, traffic.
So traffic means the people visiting your website. Sorry, please. Traffic means the people, individuals, group of people, the number of people, the inflow of people, the inflow of people into your website. Ingress and egress of people into and out of your website is called traffic. All right? That's for those who don't know anyway. So if I visit your website now, and uh, Vera visits your website, and Thomas visits, Joshua comes, Timothy comes, everybody here comes, we become your traffic. We become your traffic. Does that make sense? All right, so how do you get traffic as a blogger? We are going to be discussing, um, oh my God. We're going to be discussing about six or seven ways you can get traffic as a blogger. Number one, search engines. We are going to list them, then we can now discuss them. The place I listed it has gone off. Search engines, search engines, search, then engines. Number two, social traffic social traffic number three email campaigns email campaigns number four web push notifications web push notifications web push notifications number five chat bots chat bots number six paid advertisements paid advertisements then the final one I had on my list, I had about seven, seven, um, this thing, but I'll remember it. I will, I'll mention it. I'll remember it. All right, so we'll take it one after the other. The first one is search engine. This is the best kind of traffic. Search engine traffic is the best kind of traffic. And by the way, even though I've been able to break it down, Traffic is generally classified into two, into two, organic and inorganic traffic, all right? Organic, that is the two major classifications, even though I'm breaking it down for you guys to list it. But instead of lumping it up, if you want to lump it up, traffic is just into two, organic and inorganic. The organic traffic is search engine traffic, traffic that come to your site naturally. Okay, so the organic traffics are the ones that come to your site naturally, like search engine traffic, all right? So you don't have to do anything. If you're doing uh, search engine traffic, you don't do anything. I can just stay like this now. If you open your browser and Google how to win multiple scholarships in Nigeria, my website will come up. You can try it now, you can type it. If you go to your browser now, open Google, type, how to win multiple scholarships in Nigeria, my website will come up. Why is this so? Because I have optimized, I've written a content on it and optimized it so I am ranking on Google. I am ranking on Google for that particular keyword. So when you search for that keyword, my website must make it to the first page, okay? Now, one good thing about search engine traffic, search engine traffic, um, is the subtopic we're talking about now. Search engine traffic are traffics that come from searches, all right? And the other day when we we're having class, I mentioned a lot of search engines. We have Google, we have Yahoo, we have Bing, we have uh, Yandex, we have Baidu, we have DuckDuckGo. There are so many search engines. So many search engines, all right? So traffic that come from all these search engines, are of course referred to as organic traffic or search engine traffic. 
Does that make sense? Does it make sense? Just know that traffic that comes from search engine is called organic traffic. Okay? So when you hear a blogger saying, well, my organic traffic for this month is um, 10,000 visits, he is trying to say that the number of people that visited his blog through search engines, through search engines, are 10,000 people. Okay? So that's what he's trying to say. Okay? So how do you get organic traffic? How you get organic traffic is by writing content using good keywords that people are searching for. If you go to Google now and type, who is Barista Kenechuku Agu? Google does not have a website. Google does not own a single information. Google goes through the internet, crawling things, crawling billions of web pages daily. Billions, not millions. Billions of web pages daily. Indexing and storing information. So when you type in a query, who is Barista Kenechuku Agu? Google will go through, in a matter of seconds, in a matter of seconds, Google will go through all those their information they've stored over the years and see if there's anyone that matches the name Kenechuku Agu. If there's anyone that matches that name Kenechuku Agu, they will bring it and show you. Do you understand? And that is why when you search something on Google, you will see the first page. You will need to click on something to see the full details. Isn't that right? That is because it is not Google that owns the information. If I write about Kenichiku Agu now and Google indexes it, if you search it, Google will show you my, my website. It is not Google's information. It is my information. But because I have written that content and I am partnering with Google to monetize my content, Google has the right to show my content. Does that make sense? Do you understand it now? So the traffic you get from um, the traffic you get from no no it's not chat boss chat bot chat bot please not chat boss chat bot chat bot I will explain what it is not chat I've typed it in our chat it's chat bots not chat boss. Okay, one of the ways of getting traffic. All right. So the traffic you get from all those search engines are referred to as um, organic traffic or search engine traffic. And I've explained that how to get it. I've explained that how to get it is to write content that these search engines will love using keyword that you can rank for and i've taught you how to identify keywords that you can rank for you know when we started this class a lot of information was flying up and down so you were not able to you know put the pieces together but as we go deep you'll be able to put the pieces together and it will not make sense to you all right like i'm talking about search engine now what i was telling you about keyword then is not making better sense now it's not making better sense and it's thinking more so that is how it will continue to sink and sink and sink into your head. Even if your head now block, ego it must sink. Oh. It must sink because I want you to make money. I want you to make money. So it must sink. Let it sink. Vera, Vera, are you listening? Make it sink. Oh. Let it sink. All right. So I've taught you how to get search engine traffic. The basic thing about getting search engine traffic is using keyword. Put your hand where it can, it can, it can go. Okay, where you have the ability to dominate. Don't go rub me shoulders with the big guys. Don't go struggling authority with those who are above you. Know your mates. Focus your strength and energy where it will be, it will be useful, where it will materialize to something, where it can be productive. Don't take your energy and dissipate it on things that are useless, things you cannot accomplish. There's no point, of course. You can have the hope that you did, but hope is not a business strategy. And like I said before, you must treat your blog as business. And if you're treating it as business, you don't hope on things. You make decisions based on rational decisions made out of data, research data. That this is the data, is before me. 
So my decision is based on this data before me. It's not based on hope that it will happen tomorrow. Hope is not a strategy in business. So when you focus on the keywords that have um, lower competition, that is keyword difficulty. Okay, so if you focus on those, you'll be able to, you know, rank. And once you're ranking and collecting small, small traffic, if you have 200 keywords, let me, let me, let me give you a math of small keywords now so that you will know that it is not as it seems. And I've taught you, okay, I haven't taught you how to rank um, for multiple keywords using uh, one post. So if you have 200 keywords bringing you 100 searches per day, okay, that is 20,000, all right? So if those people visit just two pages before they leave, that is 40,000 page views per day, all right? So if you multiply that by 30, it means you're having 1.2 million page views per day. So don't look at it and say, okay, this keyword has uh, just 1,000 searches. Well, it's nothing. Or this keyword has uh, just 50 or 100 or 200 searches or 500 searches is nothing. No, 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 no. As long as the keyword has up to 100 searches and that the, the keyword difficulty is what you can deal with, my brother, my thing with you, collect it. Collect it. It's better. I get it and pursue it with every vigor you have in you. All right, so that's that for, for search engine traffic. So we can look at, uh, we can look at um, social traffic. Social traffic are visits you receive from social media, social media platforms. This is very important, very, very, very important social media platforms have you heard about yaba left before if you have heard about yaba left wave your hands just wave your hands if you have heard about yaba left you have heard about yaba left Abby? do you know that 90 something percent of yaba left traffic is from facebook have you heard that before maybe you have never heard it before but go and do your research 90 something percent of their of their traffic is from social media. Let me not say Facebook because, of course, there are other social media platforms. So, 90 something percent of their traffic come from social media. Now, I'm talking about people that make millions of, uh, of naira monthly. Okay, so let's say they, they bring out gist about Tom to DK. Uh, Tom to DK and the husband are fighting. So, everybody is uh, rushing to go and read it. They will share it to millions of followers. Everybody will rush. They want to read it. What is their own? Is that is that the business of the owner? He doesn't care. His own is to make money. And whatever will bring um, traffic, he will say, whatever will make people to view Facebook, click on his link and come to his website. He will say and he will do so that you will come. When you come, he makes money. So as you are leaving your own business to go and read about Tom to and her husband, uh, he's also making money. That's not his business. His business is to make sure he brings you. You are his business. Your attention is his business. Commanding it is his sole priority. Do you understand? So if you start blogging, you must find ways to target social media traffic. It may not be your primary source of traffic, but you must find a way to target social media traffic. What are the benefits of social media traffic? One, it increases brand awareness. Once I say Yaba left, everybody was raising hand, raising hand, raising hand. There are much more powerful websites in Nigeria, more than Yaba left, but you don't know them. Why? Because they're getting their traffic from search engine. So they are not everywhere on Facebook. But because uh, Yaba Left is everywhere on Facebook and is controversial, you know them. So number one advantage, advantages of social media traffic. Number one, 
is that it increases brand awareness. Brand awareness. Brand awareness. Brand awareness. Number two, it brings recurrent visitors. This is the dream of every blogger alive, even those who are dead. They had this dream to get recurrent visitors. So if I have a, a page on Facebook that has, say, one million followers, if I share something there, in the next two weeks, people will still be visiting, right? But if you are using um, organic traffic, you may be ranking number one today. You wake up tomorrow and realize that Google has pushed you aside. There's somebody that is ranking number one. Opa Thomas, you should know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you see somebody that is ranking number one for a particular keyword. After one week, Google will remove him and put somebody else. Maybe that person has even copied your content, edited it, added a few things because Google likes eating fresh food. When I was teaching you last time, I was telling you that Google loves fresh food and your content is Google's food. All right? Google has crawlers that goes about crawling, crawling um, information on the web. So when they come and what you have is what somebody else has, what he has eaten somewhere, it will just jump you and pass. So if somebody can copy your content now with a higher DA and make just a little adjustment here and there and add value, Google will rank him before you. All right? So what that means is that they will push you down. It means that for that particular keyword, you won't be receiving traffic again. For that thing I shared on my Facebook page, even in the next two months, you will still bring me traffic. Isn't that good? Does that make sense, guys? So the number two advantage is that it brings recurrent, recurrent visitors. You may not understand this until you start blogging. You will see that if Thomas visits your website now, you want to find ways to bring him back. You want to find ways to bring him back. That is why if you visit a site now, let me show you. Let me share my screen and show you something now. Can you see my screen? If you can see my screen, just uh, say something now. Just wave. You can see it. Too much. You can see my screen. All right. All right. So. If I visit my, my blog now, Scholars Arena. Scholars Arena, just, just look at what will happen now. So if I visit Scholars Arena now, if you look at my screen now, at the right corner, the downside, the right corner, okay, if you look at my cursor now, you see where my cursor is pointing. You see something that looks like messenger. Can you see it? You cannot see anything that looks like small messenger button. If you type just type Scholars Arena in your own um, browser, if you type Scholars Arena in your browser, if you type Scholars Arena in your browser, you will discover something. Two things. There are two things you will discover. So the two things you will discover is that one, you will see something that looks like a messenger button. All right. You also see something else that is prompting you saying you should allow notification. Like uh, Scholar Serena wants to send you notification, uh, either allow or cancel. The essence of those two things is that once you subscribe to any of them, I can always send you updates, even when you're not on my website. For instance, if you allow the notification, I can always send you an update. And when I publish a new post, that notification will come to your phone. Why? Because I'm looking for recurrent visitors. So I don't want you to visit my website and go. No, 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 no. I want you to visit and let me have access to reach you without paying money to reach you. I don't need to pay money to reach you. So if 20 people on my website right now, let's say this tweet, 20 people are on my website, for instance, and I'm able to get 10 of them to subscribe to either the push notification or the chatbot. What happens is that I am able to reach those 10 people over and over and invite them back to my website, which means that if I make $5 for them coming to my website, if I invite them again, I will likely make another $5. Isn't that true? Okay? And I don't have to spend money extra to get them to come in. 
Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? If it does make sense, just type 222. 222 in the chat box. In the chat box, let me know that I am not talking to myself alone. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Kenneth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Chidema. So the point I was trying to make is find ways to get recurrent visitors. It is not enough. It is not enough for people to visit your website and just go. No, 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 no. You're losing traffic. You're losing money. But because of course, when I'm saying traffic, traffic, once I say traffic, think of money so that you can get serious. So if I'm saying traffic, it will sound as if it's just, it's just traffic now. What is there? So once I say traffic, think of money. So when I say you're losing traffic, you're losing money. That is the meaning. And it's not Naira, you're losing dollars. And that is not a smart thing. You know. I don't know about you, but I don't joke with dollars. I, it's very, I, I like it. I like it a lot. So much, so much. A whole lot. I like dollars. So please don't waste your traffic. Find ways to convert your traffic in such a way that you can retarget them. So we're going to get to that point where I, can, I will show you tonight, just tonight, I will show you how you can accomplish all those things. So search traffic, I'm sorry, social traffic, are traffic that come from uh, social media places. So it could be from Facebook page. Once this guy is done with designing your blog, I will go through it and be sure that all the plugins that are supposed to be there are there and that he has done every optimization. He's going to host it for you for free. The next thing you will do on your own is to create pages for your website. So let's say your website is kene.ng. You go to Facebook and create your Facebook page and invite your friends to like it. Then later on, I can teach you how to grow pages, all right? That is maybe in another class. I'll teach you how to grow pages, how to grow followership online if you want to, all right? So we can look into that. But for now, just know that you're supposed to create pages for your, for your website, all right? So that when you share information there, people who like the page will see it. For instance, if you go and uh, follow any page on Facebook or you like a page, once they share information, Facebook will show you. Isn't that right? And from there, people can visit and come and read. As long as what you're sharing is valuable and is not everywhere. You know, Obaseke defected today to PDP. Who is the political bug on here? You should know. Tamo Sokwa. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Chukwebuka. I know that you know. Timothy. Oh! Political Yigi Haga. I know you know. So, Obaseke defected today, right? If you can publish something like that, let's say you are in news, in news niche now. And um, let's say your niche is news, all right? And you publish political news a lot and people are following your page, right? So if you publish content, I remember I told you that content could be video, post, image, GIF, anything, all right? So let's say you publish a video content on your blog showing where and when Obaseke was defecting, decamping, cross-carpeting from APC to PDP, which is the same thing, the same people fooling themselves anyway. So if you show where he's doing that and you are among the first few people to share it, do you know that people will visit your blog from Facebook to, to watch that thing or to see it or to read it? Isn't that right? That is what you call breaking news, Abi. Breaking news. Sorry, Obaseki becomes from APC to PDP. So you will see that you will gain traffic from doing that. Okay? <laughs> The umbrella is leaking. Oh. The umbrella cannot protect him this time. <laughs> the umbrella is leaking. So <laughs> the umbrella does not, it doesn't have a fortress in it, though. So it appears uh, Mr. Baseke may be kicking political buckets. But, but 
that is up to a uh, people to decide anyway. All right, so you can create a page and grow it, all right, organically. There are two ways you can grow a page. It is either you're growing it organically, that is letting people like it and follow it. Let's say you're sharing breaking, breaking news. You know that when you share a breaking news about this, let's say this of thing, for instance, if you share a breaking news, you know that people will share it, right? Even you, all of you here, you have one shared one thing or another from somebody's page. Is it not true? Especially you, Timothy, you share a lot. Is it not true? So when you share, when you share something that is breaking, people will be sharing it. And as people are sharing it, people will see it. Because if I share it, all my friends will see it. Or reasonable percentage of my friends will see it. And some of them will decide to follow the page. Isn't that right? So as they are following the page, and as you cannot to share, over the months, getting to years, your followership is going to increase. However, you can also use paid advertisements, Facebook paid ads to grow your page. Let's say you, don't, you are not, you're not the very patient kind of business guy, so you want to balloon your, your distance. Well, of course, you can find one breaking news, use it to run adverts, okay? Depending on your niche, or if your niche is about something like scholarship, for instance, for me, that I'm blogging about scholarship, I have written so many books on scholarship. So what I need to do is to advertise one and say you can download the, the book for free, okay? So I will put up a platform where you can download it, but you must first of all like our page and you must share our, our, our adverts. So that way it will go viral. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So that's how to grow a page, for instance, okay? Now, I'm going to share an insider secret now. Some of us don't do that. Do you know why? Because I can wake up and buy a page with one million followers. In fact, I was called to come and buy a page with 1.5 million followers today. But I did not have interest. I checked and saw that it was not very active the way I wanted it. So I didn't buy. So instead of me taking two years to build a, a page of one million, I can just take a hundred K and buy one million page. I will become their new master, their new Lord master. They won't know. The, the admin will sell it to me. I will become the admin. I will begin to load it over them. What I want them to see, that's what they will see. If they don't like it, they can unsubscribe. Isn't that right? Does that make sense? Some of you don't know that they sell pages, Abi. You don't know that you can ship people. Social media, especially Facebook, is like slave trade. Though. They can ship, you can ship people from one admin to another. They can sell people, sell people's attention from one person to another. And you too, you can buy it, use it, and decide to sell. All right? So you just keep selling people and their attention. Okay, and there's nothing illegal about that. Does that make sense? Now, the next thing on Facebook that you can do is to create a community. Depending on what your niche is, you can create a community. That is a group, Facebook group. And another insider secret is that we buy Facebook groups too. Does that make sense? I buy Facebook groups too. I have some Facebook groups that have up to 500,000 members. I have some that have up to 300,000 members, 400,000 members, okay? There's no way I will share a post to that place now. Let's say a group has 500,000 and is active. There's no way I will share a post, even though I will not be sharing posts every day anyway. But there's no way I will share a post there today and I will not get 1,000 or 2,000 clicks. Does that make sense? As long as the post is relevant to the community, people will read it. Okay? But always remember that a group or a page you bought can never be as active as the one you built yourself. It can never be half active. It can't even be half active. Why? Because if you're building a page or a group, those people there will know your brand. They will identify with your brand. They will fall in love with your brand. There's something called repetitive marketing repetitive marketing if you go to facebook now there's something called retargeting so if i'm running an advert now and i set up my piece if you interact with my ad for say one minute i will retarget you that is why sometimes when you view advert on facebook it will not be following you everywhere 
If you follow you, let's say it's Konga advert, review it or click on it. Everywhere you go, you will not be seeing Konga advert. Konga advert. They are retargeting you. It's repetitive marketing. That is to make sure that their brand internalizes in your brain. Any day you want to buy anything, the first thing that comes to your mind is Konga advert. Well, let me not uh, dictate to marketing. That's the marketing class. So let's not uh, go there. So social traffic are traffic you get from um, social media. Social media could be Facebook. And if it's Facebook, it could be through pages. It could be groups. All right? Then it could also be Twitter. It could also be Instagram. It could be Snapchat. It could be anywhere that you have audience. Whatever you know, you can grow audience on social media. It could also be WhatsApp or even Telegram. I have friends who have Telegram channels that have thousands, hundreds of thousands of you know, people inside. And people that have up to 10 WhatsApp groups that have so many people inside. So for instance, I have a, a scholarship group. Okay, even though for some time now I've not given it attention. But if I if I share links inside that place, I could get like 50 clicks in a day. And, and that is money. No matter how you see it. So I am offering them value. They are searching for something. So I'm helping them by giving them link to that thing to save them the stress of searching. All right. So as I'm saving them the stress of searching, they will visit and help me make, make money. So it is something for something. We we'll help each other. So you help me make money. I help you with information. That is fair enough. Very fair. Okay. So always remember that as a blogger, you are not just driving traffic to your website. You're offering value. You're offering value, a whole lot of value. So when people visit your blog, they will read things that will be valuable to them, depending on your niche. So those things they are reading that are valuable to them are the things you offer as value. So the money they bring you is in is an exchange for the value you, you give to them. Okay. Now, what else you traffic? What else do you have on your list, please? What else do you have on that list? Just type it for me. After social traffic, what else do you have on the list? Okay, email campaigns. Thank you very much. Email campaigns. Okay, so some of us have emails, and uh, once in a while, we go to websites and they ask us to put our email address, and we gladly release it. Then later on, they will be sending us email, and we will click. Well, that's not bad, but today you should not be the one receiving. You should be the one doing. After today, you should be the one doing. All right? Email campaigns are, are sources through which one of the sources you can get traffic from. It entails sending bulk emails to your subscribers, notifying them of your new post or a new product or a new information that is available that you think they will be interested in. Okay? My website, wakana.ng, has about 85,000 email addresses. 85,000 email addresses. So when I send a blast, you know that I will get clicks. Isn't that right? The summary of traffic, if I have not said this before, the summary of traffic for bloggers is to make sure you don't have one source of traffic. If you have one source of traffic, you have not started blogging. Something may just happen like this and that one source is blocked. Then all of a sudden, you don't have traffic again, you're not making money. No, you must have multiple sources of traffic as a blogger. So that if, tra if, if source A gives you 1,000, source B will give you 500, source B, uh, C will give you 300, D, 200, E, 100. So if anything happens to source A, so it's B, C, D, E. Sources B, C, D, E will be there for you always. Okay? So you can use emails to also get people to visit your website. So you just set it up. The guy who is going to do this, I will also instruct him to add this feature to your website where you can gather people's email addresses, all right? So as people are visiting your website, you can request that they subscribe to your mailing list. It's called mailing list, all right? Now, let me, let me give you a list of companies that provide email services. Number one, MailChimp. 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 
MailChimp. <coughs> MailChimp. Did you get that? If you can hear me, just, just wave if you can hear me. Okay, thank God, thank God. So if you can't hear me, uh, the person using Journey, if you can't hear me, check your mic, check your mic, or uh, just I look for anything that is turned off. All right, so MailChimp is number one. Now, MailChimp is, okay, this mailing service is like Bulk SMS, okay? Some of you here know what Bulk SMS is, all right? So there are companies that provide the service. You will bring your numbers. They will sell SMS unit to you. You can send Bulk SMS with it, right? Mailing service is the same thing. You bring your emails through subscription. Some people go as much as uh, buying um, emails, but I don't recommend that. So you get your own emails as people are subscribing. Because if you buy emails, people don't know, the people you bought don't know your brand. So they cannot identify with your brand. It becomes very difficult. So you'll be wasting your time. Even though you can get small, small results if you are very good at it. But if you are a newbie, if you are a starter, I would advise you build your list by yourself. All right? So you take your email list and go to these guys and send bulk messages. Does that make sense? MailChimp is free to use if you have less than 2,000 email addresses. Free to use. Free. Apart from MailChimp, we have um, Get Response. Get Response. We also have uh, Convert Kits. Okay, I think this three are enough for you. Okay, this three are enough for you. I was using MailChimp before, but my email addresses got more than 2,000. So I migrated to Get Response. Okay, so what I'm using now is get response. That is what I'm using now. And please, if you are here and you're not getting my email, let me know. Go and subscribe. So if I send you an email, you click on it. I need money. I need money. I need Remego. So you can use any of these three. I would recommend that if you're starting out because get response is paid. It doesn't matter. Even if you have one email address, you pay money, you must pay money. So since you're starting out, for call first, I would advise you to start with MailChimp. Is very nice. Most of the biggest guys in the industry, in the blogging industry in Nigeria, use MailChimp. You understand? So MailChimp is free as long as you have less than 2,000 contacts. Contact means email addresses. Email addresses, all right? So as long as you have less than 2,000, use MailChimp to get started. So if you have 2,000 people and you send email, and that email, let's say I have, um, a list of 2,000 emails of people that are looking for scholarship hmm, to study in Canada. And I, I, I discover some new scholarships. And I get to find out some new scholarships, uh, you know, uh, sponsoring people to study in Canada. And I send them an email address saying, come, come and read details. See, you can, you can take this opportunity, you know, it's open and it's going to answer so, so, and they come to read the information. You know I'm giving value, isn't that right? I'm providing them value, a lot of value. And so many of them will click on that email address to visit. And once they click, they become what? Traffic. And traffic means what? Money. Okay? So that's that. Um, what else? You can, you can this night now, after this class, you can go to MailChimp and register. MailChimp.com. MailChimp.com. You can go and register this night, all right? So that as they are putting up your blog, for those of you who don't have blogs already, as they are putting up your blog, they can integrate it to your account. They can link your account. They can link your account, okay? Joshua, calm down, calm down, Joshua, calm down, calm down. Joshua, calm down, calm down. And my sister, and my sister, you talk to. All right, so you can register account, and um, uh, if you register account, 
as the guy is putting up uh, your website, we can integrate, it will be very easy to integrate your membership account so that when people visit your website, they can subscribe to your mailing list. So you can send them email over and over and over and over again. That is recurrent traffic, recurrent traffic. I cannot stress it enough. It is everything. It is everything sweet. It is everything awesome. It is everything holy in this industry. Very, very, very important. So what is the next thing, please? Apart from uh, email campaigns, what else do you have on your list? What is the next thing on your list? What is the next thing on your list, guys? Samson Abani, what is the next thing on your list, Mr. President? Web push notification, thank you very much. All right, so we'll be doing this. Uh, we'll, I'll be sharing my screen with you now. I want you to see something. So you can open your browser now. Open your browser and if you have another device anyway, if you're not going to interact uh, or disturb your class, open your browser and go to scholarsarena.net. You will see that there is a notification. There is something that will prompt you, asking you to please allow us to send you notifications. My brother, if you see it, allow it to. If you see it, allow it. If you like me, allow it. Just allow it. Oh, Biko. So if you go there to see it, kindly allow. If you don't want disturbance, don't allow. If you know you're going to unsubscribe in the morning, don't allow. But if you can take it, allow. What does it do? What it does is that once you allow it, it grants us the permission to notify you using your browser. So if I publish a new scholarship, I want you to subscribe to this thing. Let me do practical now and show you. Let me just do practical. Just go to scholarsarena.net. Just join, join the notification. I, I, I'm going to do practical now. If you can see my screen, we're going to do practical now and show you what it means. All right? So web push notifications are... Can anybody hear me? Timothy, you are not giving me hope. Oh. This one, you're like this. <laughs> so web push notifications are notifications that allow bloggers to send out traffic using browsers. Do you understand? So you send out traffic using browsers, people's browser. So if I send out a push notification from my website, everybody who is subscribed to my push notification will get it. Once you open your browser, the first thing that will come up. Once you open your browser, it will come like a notification, like WhatsApp notification. The same way you used to get the WhatsApp notification, you will get it that way. So it will come within the notification area of your screen. So once you open your website, sorry, once you open your browser, you will get a notification just like WhatsApp. If I send a WhatsApp message, you get a notification. Okay? So in the same vein, if I send out a push notification, everybody that is subscribed to that push notification, we get it. Does that make sense? So there are two major companies that offer this service. One is paid and one is free. There are two major companies. I will start with the free one, which is the most popular. OneSignal. OneSignal.com. OneSignal.com. OneSignal. Let me type it. For this website, you're supposed to go and register account to OneSignal.com. I know. One signal dot com. Cindy Cruz is Cindy Cruz in this class. Cindy Cruz, if you're in this class, type yes or uh, one 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 anything. <laughs> Joshua wants payment for for push notification. My mother, you're on a long thing. <laughs> hey, hey, okay. So the number one is one signal. The number two, which is paid, 
third one is wonder push wonder push wonder push okay but if you are starting out i will recommend you use one signal do you know why because until you have thirty thousand subscribers you don't have to pay money isn't that sweet that is very awesome very very sweet on this wonder push now my website scholarsarena.net has 21,000 subscribers on one signal one signal i have 21,000 subscribers on one signal all right that is for one one website scholars arena okay now do you know what this means what it means is that it grants me recurrent visitors so if i wake up in the morning now and traffic is not even coming if i send two push notifications i may collect like 30 dollars how much is 30 dollars i want people to understand that when we say traffic it is money 30 dollars times 443 that is 13,000 naira. so if i wake up around 5 a.m if i wake up around 5 a.m and i send push notification before it is eight or nine i'll collect 30 dollars that is 13,000 before i'll go to work do you know that 13,000 could be somebody's salary i just collect it before i go to work all right so recurrent uh, visitors is everything one signal.com please go there and register one signal.com let me show you how to use one signal if you cannot see my screen please say something or let me know that you can't see my screen if you can't see my screen say something all right so i'm going to visit my my website now so this is the admin the admin page the admin page huh the admin page of my website so i will go to what is called plugins i'm showing this to those who already know what who already have websites those who don't have websites the guy that designed your website will do all these things i'm showing you now okay he will do it in such a way that once you publish posts, he, I will instruct the guy that is designing to do your website in such a way that once you publish posts, one signal will send message to everybody that is subscribed on your blog. Does that make sense? So you don't have to manually do it. It's a matter of settings, okay? So you blog like a pro. Don't uh, worry yourself so much. So if you go to plugins, If you go to this, you'll see one signal. Is there still one signal? Okay, since we're not designing website, there's no point. Let's let's look at how to use it as opposed to showing you how to install it. So I will log into my one signal dashboard. One signal dashboard. Remember that I have set one signal on my site in a way that once I publish any post, it will send it will send notification to everybody. Does that make sense? Okay. But if you want to manually send notification without uh, publishing a post on your website, this is what you can do. So you log into onesignal.com, then so I have 21,800 and something subscribers. 21,800 um, and something subscribers. Okay. So if I want to send a message, this is my dashboard on one signal. Now, wow. So two people revoked today. They don't want to be on my list again. Imagine where are they going to? This is unacceptable. Two people decided to leave today. Why should they unsubscribe? So this is my one uh, signal dashboard. So if I want to send a message, a broadcast, I will click on messages, messages, messages. All right. So I will click on new 
This thing is local. New push. Can you still see my screen? Can you still see my screen? If you can see my screen, just wave. Let me know that I'm not in the dark. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I will click on new push. Remember I said I will go to the dashboard first, then I'll click on messages, then I'll click on new push. All right? Then it will bring out a place for me to customize my message the way I want it to look. All right? So I'll put in the title. I'll let me know post I'll use. Which post do I want to use? Okay, let me use this. So I will put in the title. And of course, when you're putting in all these things, you can be creative, as creative as you can, all right? So how creative you are is what will determine how many people that will click. So I would, um, I will put the title. So I may not even put, I may not even copy the title of my post. I could write something like, um, Hey there, we've got new scholarships for you. We've got new amazing scholarships for you. New scholarships. For you. Do you understand? So in the message box, remember that whatever I'm typing is reflecting on the preview side preview side of my screen, which is the right side. So I'll type something like, click here to see, or uh, click here to grab this awesome opportunity. Now, right so i am done customizing i will go and copy the link that is where i want them to land when i send this thing now where do i want them to land where do i want these guys to land i will copy the link of the post or the category or my home page or anywhere i want them to land so i'll copy the link okay so i'll copy the link i will come here you see launch URL, launch URL. If you can see my screen, you see I highlighted it. Launch URL, that is the link they are supposed to see. The link they are supposed to see when, when they click, what they're supposed to view. Okay, so once I'm done, I'll simply go and send. Very simple. If you want it to send at a particular time, you can schedule it, all right? Under schedule, you can schedule. If you want to send tomorrow, I'm going somewhere and I will not have time. I do this one often. If I'm going somewhere and I know I will not have time in the afternoon, I can schedule my messages to send in the afternoon. If I will not have time tomorrow, let's say it's a Sunday and I'll be going to church in the morning, I can schedule it on Saturday night to send out in the morning. Let's say there's a job I need to do in the evening, I don't have time, I can schedule all these things in the morning. I can sit down in the morning to schedule all of them the one that I'll send in the morning, even the one that I'll send throughout the week is enough. All right, so I will just, you will just stay and you'll be receiving. I'm not online, even though I'm not online, it will still send because it is a cloud something, it's already set. So you can also decide to send immediately or to send um, using intelligence. So once you decide to send, that settles it, bro. So if, um, if you are subscribed on my blog, you should get a notification pretty soon. You should get a notification soon. Has anybody got a notification? If you're on my blog, if you're subscribed and you've got a notification, you can just... Um, And just wave or do anything. 
It should have arrived by now. And if it has not arrived, it will still arrive. Your share will get to you. So two people have clicked on it. Two people have clicked on it. As we speak right now. Okay, so look at this, my website now. Today, 161 persons visited the website using push notification. These are people that visited my website long ago and approved notification. So I am able to bring in almost 200 people. Okay, you've gotten it. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you. So I'm able to bring in people, almost 200 people. Uh, to that my blog, but the blog has just uh, 4,000 subscribers, 4,000 subscribers, so it's small. But out of that 4,000 subscribers, I'm able to bring in almost 200 people to visit the website today, just through web notification, and I don't have to spend money to do that, okay? So that is what is web notification. So please, go and register on onesignal.com. So what's the next thing on our list? What is the next thing on our list? <laughs> Somebody said I used to send message to him like clearly. <laughs> hey. Joshua can't hear me. You can exit the class and come in. All right, so what's the next thing? What's the next thing? Can somebody give me something? Okay, I can remember chatbots. 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 All right. So I wish this is a physical class so that people can, can ask questions and you can answer. What is chatbot? I would, <laughs> I would have been delighted to hear your, your views on what chatbot is. Well, chatbot is another tool for getting recurrent visits. Chatbot is another tool for getting recurrent visits. If you go to scholarsarena.net now, scholarsarena.net, you will see something that looks like, let me share my screen. You will see something that looks like um, a messenger icon. It looks like a messenger icon. Can you see it? You visit my website, you see something that looks like a messenger icon. If you click on that and it will lead you to a place where you can chat my page. Remember I told you that you will create a page on Facebook, right? I told you that when your blog is ready, after, um, after the designer is done designing your blog, that you will create a page, right? Can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? CJ, can you hear me? All right, all right. So I told you that once the designer is done creating your blog, they're going to create a page on Facebook so that they can link it. All right, so that they can link it. So aside, um, so aside, Aside the people that will like your page, okay, the designer is going to install what is called chatbot. The person who is going to design your website will install a chatbot. A chatbot. The chatbot works exactly like a um, web push notification. Okay, so when you go to my website and chat, click on that uh, messenger icon, you will be chatting my website. That is my page on Facebook, okay? But the difference here is that once you chat my page on Facebook, uh, this, uh, this thing that looks like an icon, messenger icon, will save your information. Once you click to chat now, you become a subscriber of my chatbot. That thing that is looking like a messenger icon is called chatbot. So once you click on this now, you'll be chatting with me on Messenger 
but you are a subscriber of my chatbot. So I can always send you a message. If you don't understand, you can subscribe to my chat. You can also say hello. You get an automated reply. Once you say hi now to that thing, you get an automated reply from me. And once you get that reply, you're already a subscriber. You have become a subscriber, whether you like it or not. So later on, I can send you a message. If I send message, let's say bulk message, the same way you can send the um, web notification in bulk, the same way you can send bulk SMS in bulk, the same way you can send emails in bulk. I can send a chatbot message in, in bulk also, and it will enter the inbox, messenger inbox of all the subscribers. Messenger inbox. So while email campaign is using emails, web push notification is using browsers, chatbot is using messenger inbox of all the subscribers. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys? <clears throat> All right, so what's the, what's the next thing on your list? I think that should be the final thing on your list. That should be the final thing on your list. That should be the final thing on your list. Is there anything else we have not covered? Yes, I'm recording the video, so I'm going to send. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. The only thing I have not covered on that list is paid advertisement. All right, all right. So who 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 has heard about legit.ng? Legit.ng, former Nyaj, Nyaj.com, Nyaj.com. Have you heard about it before? You have heard it, just wait. Have you heard about Legit.ng before? You have heard about Legit. Just say Alibia, Alibia, Alibia. All right. One of the major sources, one of the major sources of traffic for Legit.ng is paid advertisement. Aha, uh -huh. so I was saying that we're going to add uh, something to our list. Apart from paid advertisement, there's something called referral traffic. Referral, referral traffic. Referral traffic. Yes. So we're talking about, we're going to discuss referral traffic after paid advertisement. So it's a sub topic. It's a source of traffic. It's a source of traffic. Right. So I was talking about paid advertisements. I mentioned legit.ng. When they started that website, not legit, the legit was a rebranded form when it was Nige. Those guys brought out millions of naira. That's why if you go everywhere, you'll be seeing their adverts everywhere. Facebook, Google, Rev Content, MGID. Uh, propeller, um, whatever, Astra, wherever you go, you will see the advert. What are they trying to do? They are trying to draw traffic to their website. And when they draw traffic to their website, they will use all these web notifications, email, email signups, and chatbots to convert the traffic. Let's say they bring in uh, 5 million people to their website at the end of the month and they are able to convert only 2 million. They can use that 2 million to make the money they spent in getting that 5 million people times 10. Does that make sense? So under paid traffic, you have Google AdWords. Google AdWords. Paid traffic means advertising. Advertising to get traffic, simple. Paid advertisement, it means running advert with money to get traffic okay and it's not something you will do forever no if you have web notification on your website and you have chatbot and you have email sign up you can run advert if you have money to get people to your website those three mechanisms of bringing recurrent uh, visitors will trap most of them so you can use that those three now 
to re-engage them and engage them and engage them again. All right? Okay? But if you don't have money, you don't need to run paid advertisement. You can use other means. All the means I've listed, you have used, you can use them. So under paid advertisement, where can you run? Where can you run it? You can run it through Google Ads, Google AdWord, number one, Facebook ads, number two, Rev Content, number three. MGID number four ads Astra. I think it's Astra, something like this. I'm not sure of the spelling, but it's be Astra. Then propeller. Propeller. You can also look at um also look at you can you can, you should be enough with you should be okay with with all of this one two three four five six those are advanced platforms you can use maximize them to get traffic in case you want to just in case you want to so the last one on this list is referral traffic referral traffic is traffic you get from people's website from other people's website when you get mentioned so when people pub when somebody copies your content and post on his blog and give you credit and people click on that that link to visit your website is referral traffic so if you go to netherland for instance and post something and it is moved to home page and you use your website as the source of the news when people are clicking on that link to visit the source it is referral traffic if i publish about you your website if i publish your link on scholars arena and people view my post and click on that link to visit your website. It is referral traffic. Okay. So that's that. Then um, that's that for source of traffic. So please, if you have questions, you can you can drop them in the chat box in the. The chat box. If you have questions, just drop them. That's that for traffic sources. The summary of everything I've taught you is that you have to get traffic from different sources. That is how you make money. That is how you survive it. Because if you have one source of getting traffic, if anything happens, you'll be left stranded. There is no good blogger that has one source of getting traffic. It's like a, a young guy that is hustling. You don't need to have one source of income, all right? Because if anything happens to that source of income, you are in trouble. You are in big trouble. Okay, that is why I used to advise people, even as you're blogging, when you grow, if you grow, you're not supposed to have one blog. For any reason, don't have one blog. When you grow, not when you're starting out to. When you grow, let's say you started making like 500K monthly, or 300K or 400K, Please get another blog just in case anything happens. Just in case anything happens. You cannot have one source. You can't have one source. So please, if you have a question, just drop it in the chat area on one side. Or I will just end the class. If you have questions, please drop it in the group, in our group chat. WhatsApp group, if you have questions, just drop it there. Okay, so tomorrow we'll be having the meat, what I call the meat of, of our classes, the sweetest of them all. We'll be having tomorrow's class, and please don't miss it for anything. Don't miss it for anything, please. Do not miss it for anything. Tomorrow is going to be about monetization how to make this money very 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 important very 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 important so we'll be looking at monetization tomorrow okay until then stay good stay safe thank you for being here tonight and thank god for network today's network is is better better from my side and sorry sorry to to hear from some people that their network was bad sorry about that i will upload the video right now
I will upload it and send the link now. So it is not going to see this night. So I can watch it and watch it again. Thank you guys and uh, have a great night.